All right. Now we are going to test and deploy changes through the org development model. Now, the thing is, we are not actually going to do this because you don't have access to a real sandbox or production org for us to play around with. And we surely don't want to play around in the real organization sandboxes or production org where you are working for because it will not be a right thing to do. So instead, we're just going to play this in our head. Okay, we're going to follow the story along and play this in our mind. All right, so pretend we are Juan and we are a developer and we want to um, release our project that we've made onto the production org. So to do that, what steps needs to be done? So first, we need to pull the changes from the repo, the latest changes, the latest source of truth right so first we want to pull the latest version say we're done ella is done juan is done jimmy is done everybody says i'm done completed the task so now we are going to start testing and rolling it out to production so first step say juan is assigned to deploy to roll it out or to sandboxes for ui testing for user testing UAT, user acceptance testing, and then roll it out to production when everything is good. So first off, Juan goes to his VS code. He's going to pull, pull the latest source of truth, the latest codes from the GitHub repository. So he goes to his Visual Studio code like so here, on here, and then click here, right? And then he's going to pull the pull from origin, pull from origin, right? And then it will pull all the changes, all the um, custom object, custom fields, triggers, apex, classes, and everything. So now what? Now he wants to build the release artifact. So before that, if he wants to deploy the latest um, um, project onto the developer pro sandbox, he has to authorize it first. We've done this in the previous trail, right? So basically SFDX authorize an org and then he just needs to log in and name it as an alias, alias. So dev pro sandbox or however you want to name this particular sandbox where he's gonna roll it out and do some tests there. Now, this is the important step, build the released artifact. So how can you do this? So you do this by using the source convert CLI command. So you go to terminal like so, and this is the terminal. How do you get from, from uh, how do you get the terminal? Go from view and then terminal, or oh, not terminal, uh, go to terminal and then new terminal. And then here, and make sure you are on the project folder like that. We are still in Ella for, for the previous trail. And once you're on the project folder, you can run the command. For this example, sfdx force source convert root dir force app output dir is tmp convert. Well, we can actually do this. Try that. So you can see what's going on. If I just paste that sfdx for source convert root dir force app output dir tmp convert right so now it's it's has written to the tmp convert the metadata api okay so now that's the first command so for windows you have to do that um, create a zip file for your changes, right? So we're going to zip that TMV convert um, uh, folder as a zip as a zip file. So I'm going to 
copy this command or just copy that command because I am on a Mac and I'm going to go back here, do the same thing. So it's, we are going to name it winter 19, right? Well, actually we are going to name it because it's now, oops, convert. Now it's what? Oh, I can't click on that. I have to do this because it's now summer 20. I'm just going to name it summer 20 zip, right? So we are relevant. Boom. So we've just added that and then we're going to delete. We're done converting. Um, TMP convert. Now if I list my files, I have summer 20 zip. Woohoo. This is what we are using to deploy stuff. So let's go back to here. Okay, we've just cleaned that up. So now we have a zip file, which is actually containing all the project files and stuff. So why should I use MD API deploy to deploy my changes from this point forward? So the force source deploy command is meant for development use cases when you are interacting with a sandbox for development and local testing. The command is not transactional and attempts to deploy all components. If any change in your project has errors, but other changes are valid, the command deploys all changes that are valid and compile. Those changes that can be compiled, that can compile are not deployed, but the overall command completes successfully. Keep that in mind. So for example, if you want to deploy, you would do this, right? SFDX force MD API deploy and then you define the zip file. Mine is summer 20 and then the target of the sandbox where, where you have already authorized in the previous steps. What's the name of that alias? Remember now this particular example is partial sandbox and then test level run specific test and then you just want to run the test language course trigger test. So then you can deploy. So basically then once it's deployed to the org, you can run your tests and see if everything is fine. If everything looks perfectly smoothly, awesomeness fine, you can repeat this step, but now you're actually deploying to a full sandbox. So the only difference is target. Username is full sandbox. This is the alias where you have authorized from your VS code okay the alias of the org sandbox org same thing now you've just deployed that and then you can de uh, deploy this when everything looks good and you have the job id there so now you can release the same thing to production basically repeat the whole step but now the target username is production org this is the name you actually choose your own all right when you create the the uh, alias when you're authorizing that org from your VS code. And then you, you do the same steps and now it's deployed. Now you do your test on the production org and you're good to go. Pretty sweet, right? Well, it's more fun when we actually can access to a real org. I don't want to play in my organization's org because that is not the right thing to do. And we at Sone.io currently do not have our own org and sandboxes yet. But I will do some um, opportunity for people to sow into, to invest into um, the Sone.io project so we can create our own real Salesforce org um, and with maybe 20 users and, you know, play around and you can log in and play around as well. But we don't have that yet, but hopefully this year before the end of the year, we will have that and you can log in um, and do all this stuff, the fun stuff. Now let's do the quiz. What is the released artifact? A zip file that contains all the objects and components for the language training service customizations. Yeah, that's right. That are changing in the release. A package version of the changes. No, no, no. I think it's A. The inbound chain said that Juan deploys now a package version of the changes that the development team has made in this release. 
a zip file contains only the objects and components, not only is everything. So why does the org development model use force deploy to deploy changes to staging and production? To skip, to eliminate the need of running, to deploy all components in the artifact in a single transaction? Yeah, this one. All right. So to skip this, no, yeah, this one, bada bing, bada boom. Huh. That one probably. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Woohoo, a shiny new badge, not bad. I'll see you on the next module. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom